Hey guys, today we make a delicious corn soup called gun oil. Hey guys, today we're gonna make gun oil. So if your gun doesn't have any oil, this is gonna put some fire in it. Also, uh, good for if you're low in iron, people who've just had babies usually uh, consume this. It's a very nutritious, high iron, um, kind of a soup that you eat with the corn. We'll discuss it more as we go. Um, for this recipe you'll need a mandolin, a blender, we have corn here. Um, I have about eight to maybe ten pieces and they're small. So because you know it's not corn season right now, it's February, almost March. I have three Edo's um, it has to be uh, Guyanese Edo's, don't use the Jamaican Edo's, and plantain or, cassa uh, or uh, ban green banana. I couldn't find green plantain, so I'm using a green banana, which works just as good, and a small piece of cassava. Here I have four cups of water, and I'm going to use half of this can of coconut milk, two tablespoons of salt and black pepper to taste. For the seasoning, I have ginger, a whole bulb of garlic, about 10 wearies, half of an onion, and two tablespoons of butter. I'm also going to add a tablespoon of garlic powder and onion powder. Let's get started. I'm going to wash, I forgot to mention the important part, which is the Kalaloo we're going to be using. So um, we're going to be using Koi. You can get this in your Caribbean store and some Kalaloo. Uh, right now in the store there is no Edo bush, which would be the leaf of the Edo which would also be really nutritious, but we're compensating by putting um, extra Edo, the three Edos, okay? So I'm going to wash and blend all the green seasoning, all the green um, spinach, and it's gonna be about a pack of spinach, which is like about a pound of each, because you know, once you cook this, it wilts down and becomes nothing. So, so one pack of each, Gonna remove the leaves, wash them, blend them with about um, a cup of water, both of them, a cup each. And I'm going to peel the yuca or the cassava and the edo and the banana and I'm going to grate them on the mandolin. The reason I don't blend it is because it develops the slime and it becomes, and the gluten in it and it, and the starch, sorry and it makes it really slimy. So you don't wanna do that. It's kinda like potato. You don't wanna ever blend potato. So we're just gonna mandolin it and we'll be back. Hey guys, we're back. We have everything blended, chopped, and ready to go. I just need to grab myself a wooden spoon. So I blended all the fresh seasoning. I'm gonna add it to the pot. So this is the onion, the garlic, the pepper. Don't worry if stuff's stuck in here, I will use the water and rinse it out. So we're gonna let that cook. And in the pot, I added some, there we go. I added some um, coconut oil. Okay. Now we're going to add the salt and black pepper, butter, and the garlic and onion. Yeah, I'm live, but these two idiots in the background don't seem to respect that. Anyhow, so we're going to cook this down. Just a little, not, it's not gonna toast up or anything like that. Just want it to release the oils. And this is a chicken bouillon, up to you if you'd like to put that or leave it veggie. You can buy a veggie bouillon. 
and put that in. Okay. Alrighty. There we go. Got that in there. So you can see here the um, spinach has been blended with a cup of water and I had to do three blends so there's probably about three cups of water in here. Here we have the grated or the shredded um, cassava, the edo and the banana. Now I'm going to add those in. just a one pot dish. I'm gonna move that around a little. Let it get coated and all of that. And as I said, this is a very high in iron dish. So if you know someone is low in iron, it's a delicious way to get that going. And when a soup is done, I'm gonna use a hand blender and blend it. But if you don't, you can use a potato masher, anything like that. Or you can just put it back in the blender if you want, once it cools, okay? Three cups of water and another three. I'm gonna let that cook down for about half an hour. Then we're gonna add our coconut milk and let it cook again for another 20 minutes. Our soup has been cooking for half an hour. I just want to show you everything's pretty much melted. I know the steam from the soup's fogging up the camera, but I hope that you can see. But I'm just going, before I add the coconut milk, I'm just going to take my hand blender and just give it a few pulses. have after. So I'm just going to show you I'm going to use this hand blender here to blend it. I'm going to move the soup over to the other counter. It. I just gave it not even 10 seconds and that's perfect okay now I'm gonna add the coconut milk I like to use um, coconut cream if I'm gonna use the one in the can I think you get more bang for your money that way you are getting a watered-down product and it's almost the same price so I've rinsed it out with about a cup of water. Great color. Smells really good. Now I'm going to taste it for salt. Give it a taste for salt. Nope, salt's perfect. And I'm going to add my corn. Tastes so good, guys, that I put a lot of ginger 
it's still February here in Canada, so uh, lots of ginger, lots of garlic. Those are all original. Especially for me because I always have trouble with my sinuses. I'm gonna let this cook now for another 10 to 15 minutes and then our soup will be ready. Gun oil. Put some gun in your oil today, guys. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you that um, this is broadleaf time, but whatever time that you have, I like to finish the soup off with that. So about a quarter cup of thyme, chopped lightly, and a quarter cup of green onion. I've already added it to this. I'm just gonna add this, this big piece in here, that's okay. I have a plant in the house, so I usually pull from that. And our soup is ready to serve. I'll plate it up and I'll show you how it looks. Hey guys, so this is our gun oil. It's finished. As everything, everybody has their own version, right? But the one I remember having as a kid was thick, but not too thick, okay? You wanna be able to dip your corn in there and get a bite of everything. I don't like it looking like a paste. Um, so it's almost like a beautiful Kalaloo soup, but it has the added deliciousness of yucca and um, the edos and the plantain. That makes it very nourishing and high in iron. This is a great dish that you can enjoy. Yes, guys, so enjoy this again with your family, friends. Make it when um, you have people over in the summer, when we can have people again after COVID. Or if you know someone that's, you know, not feeling their best, this is a great dish to make. And you can freeze it and drop it at their door and they can have something delicious and nutritious for them. Very, very nutritious, okay? When you have it in the Caribbean, you kind of get it in a cup like this and they would fill it up to here with the boil part before they drop the proverbial gun in it, which would be the corn. So, and it's called gun oil, gun oil, however you want to say it. It's delicious and you should try it today. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.